is an untransitioned adult male with his male sexual anatomy intact who identifies as a woman, actually a woman, by virtue of his inner sense of identification as such? Would we be violating his civil and human rights by continuing to refer to him by his male pronouns or denying him access to the women's changing room, shower, sauna, or sporting competition? Should this inner sense of identification entitle him to compete against women, uh, those born female in sporting competition, despite the advantages accrued to him by virtue of his male anatomy. If he rapes a woman with his penis, does an obligation accrue to the woman he raped to refer to him by his preferred pronoun in court, lest his inner sense of identification be disrespected. If she fails to refer to her penis while recounting the events of the rape that she conducted upon her, has she transgressed an important moral injunction? And is she rightly understood to be motivated by hateful bigotry. If he is convicted for a rape or murder of a woman or of multiple women and begins to identify as a woman after conviction, are we obliged to respect his gender identification and treat him as the woman he always really was and to move him into a woman's prison in order to affirm his inner sense of gender identity? Those of us who have been following this issue closely, and most of us in this room are here by virtue of having done so, know that the answers to each each and every one of these questions, according to the relevant authorities who are in turn guided by the opinions held by all right-thinking people throughout the Western world, is yes. 